All right, so my voice is coming back. That's a good thing. But today we are taking a look at Halloween Noel, aka Season Four Party Noel. That is what Global is calling this unit. She is broken. I, I cannot sit here and say that she is not. And luckily enough, we do have the gateway. So Global players, majority of you guys, from what I saw in the community post, are going to be picking up this unit for free from the gateway, which is definitely my answer whenever you do ask me. So yeah, she is fantastic. She is great. I mean, honestly, when it comes to her being meta in PvE, unfortunately, she has not taken that spot. But when it comes to PvP, however, which I feel like majority of y'all care more about, then this unit is 100% meta, okay? The way that this unit works, her kit overall, I think, I still think, whenever we do get real-time PvP, this unit is so unique and has a very, very one-of-a-kind kit that I think she'll still be meta whenever we do get real-time PvP. So, we'll have to see. She was used constantly in JP and KR tournaments, so you know for a fact that this unit is up there. But I will let y'all go ahead and be the deciding factor in the PvP showcase today. So if y'all new, drop a like, hit the sub, let me know your thoughts on this in the well before right now. And then let me know at the end of the video if your thoughts have changed. But let me get a team comp sorted for PvE and then we'll kind of walk you through how her kit is working. And yeah, y'all see how she'll perform in PvE, which unfortunately is not that great, but I could be wrong. And then we'll take a look at PvP. So I'll get a team comp sorted and uh, we'll be right back. Alright, so we are taking this team for Hall of Illusion Stage 100. Now, I was going to do a gear farming stage, but I kind of want to show you the utilization when it comes to the whole magic attack reduction and everything. This unit is great, you know, fantastic. But when it comes to PvE content, you're not really going to be using her just because, again, the way she is working is she's a special point remover. And for PvE content, that's not really so meta in comparison to, obviously, PvP, right? Because... PvP content, you're trying to prevent your enemies from proccing off their ultimates for, because, example, Julius, a big, big unit that is kind of relevant in PvP, both still to this day on JP and KR, you know, if you prevent this unit from proccing off his ultimate, then it saves you a lot of time and just allowing you to kind of almost secure the W at that point. But PvE content, there are a lot of units that do have like, you know, debuff blocks and so you're not able to remove special points, you're not able to do magic attack reduction, and it just depends on the type of content you are taking. So, um, hopefully this is a good example somewhat. Again, she's not an attacking unit, so when it comes to her damage output, it's not exactly too high. But, uh, we'll go ahead and turn on the animations so y'all can see, but on the ultimate here, you are removing three special points from the enemy, which is huge. Um, and then you also do get to remove a barrier if they do have one. And on top of the fact that you do get to apply a, it's not weapon enhancement, it's, um, let me go ahead and double check. I think it's something that allows them to take an extra 34% damage, if I am correct. I'm pulling a private one right now to go ahead and double check, because uh, it's not weapon enhancement, that I know for a fact. It is weapon disarm, I'm sorry. So damage is reduced by 34% on the enemy. So in that aspect, that is actually huge. So I am going to go ahead and proc this off against Veto, and then Veto is not going to be doing some crazy, crazy ass numbers here. So, but animations, I got to say, are top tier, without a doubt, man. I mean, they absolutely popped off, and I would love to get more animations like this. So, oh yeah, for sure. For sure, look at that. 20k damage, again, nothing too crazy, and unfortunately, we did not get the special point removal. Just because PV content, they really don't have ultimates like that. I mean, they do, but they don't. Y'all get what I'm saying? So um we're gonna go ahead and i'm not trying to beat this i kind of want to just showcase the wall off if i'm able to then do we get to apply a burn do we apply a burn here yes we do here so again fantastic units um and then on a second scale y'all gonna be able to see that we do get to apply a guaranteed taunt so i can kind of do that to allow noel to tank all the damage if possible Perfect, and then, so I do have Noel skill page, okay? Keep that in mind. Noel skill page for PvP is broken because anytime the units hit, if you do have it maxed out, you are getting a guaranteed chance, or not a guaranteed chance, but you have a guaranteed to remove one special point from the entire enemy team. But again, PvE, you're not really worried about special points. So, unfortunately, I am uh, silenced. So I cannot proc up the skill 2, but I said I could proc up the skill 1, in which I do remove one special point from the enemy, but... Unfortunately, y'all know how that works. It's not really helping me here. So it's kind of hard to showcase her in PvE just because it, she does not work out so, so much. But um, I will say if you are taking maybe, again, it, 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 like, it's very, very dependent on the type of stage that you are taking this Noel in. 
because like in comparison to other debuffs units such as like lotus etc stuff like that you're you know they actually have a good purpose right because like speed reduction etc stamina reduction is a huge huge factor and that's something that you can always rely on as opposed to this noel um the only thing that i would say is good is maybe the magic attack reduction level three again it depends on the type of content the guaranteed taunt is really huge but when it comes to the special point removal it's not something that you are going to rely on uh, in pve content that's something you're going to be used for pvp so yeah as you can see i mean we we were able to remove special point from the entire enemy team he does have a guaranteed taunt on for two turns which is huge but then outside of that, it's not really handy. So I will say the skill 2 is probably going to be like the most useful thing out of her entire kit. Um, just because having that guaranteed taunt and all that stuff can be really, really nice to kind of allow your other units on your team to survive. So in that aspect, that is not too bad at all. Oh, we, were we not taunted by Noel? I thought we were. I could have sworn we were. I'll have to double check the footage unless I was wrong. I could be wrong, but I guess not. And then plus on the combo skill, you do get to remove a barrier. So if they do have any barriers up, then that is going to be handy. I think for guild boss, this would be fantastic, by the way, because again, there are kind of, you're, you're limited on units that do have barrier removals. So especially on global right now, right? Because uh, y'all don't have the crazy ones yet that do remove barriers. So this Noel is not a bad unit if you do want to take for like a guaranteed removal barrier on the partner skill, which is not too bad. I believe this Noel and the Charmy both coming out uh both have barrier removals so again not too bad but overall y'all kind of get the idea of how the unit is working exactly again for pve is really really hard because you know when it comes to special point removals it's not really helping me in this situation right so that is it when it comes to this pvp side um so now i'm gonna go ahead and hop into pvp and get a team comp sorted so i'll be right back okay fine i guess i won't be toxic i was gonna save this team actually but i was like you know what let me just be fair because two of these units are not on global yet so that is unfortunate but instead guess what a really good team you could take with this team on global will be mono blue so if you want to go ahead and take uh what's her face take season three charlotte julius this noel and then maybe you wanted to take like more something this would not be a bad team if anything this would be a fantastic team and i'm probably gonna go ahead and rock this on global if i'm being honest with you because again that charlotte and this noel can kind of do some crazy stuff together so charlotte is kind of a quote-unquote speedy unit um not in comparison to you know obviously william maxed out etc but she is decently fast so she can be pretty handy if you do want to go ahead and proc off maybe you know the mars and charlotte combo and then obviously you have julius being your main dps and then Noel being our debuff for this team comp, which is not too bad. So you kind of have all aspects covered except for a healer. So um, it's not bad. So we get to silence on the skill 2 against any enemies on the enemy team. So this is going to be quite nice. Let's see if we can find something crazy. Oh, this is a good team. This is a very, very good team. So we get to automatically shut down Noel skill 2, Black Austin skill 2, and Julius skill 2. So this is a great, great opportunity. And I believe we do get to go for first i want to say that both uh seasonal charlottes are tied in speed i could be wrong here oh never mind we do get to go first okay cool so uh what we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, okay we don't need to get the counter attack quite yet so i'm gonna go ahead and actually oh i think you are debuff blocks that's the unfortunate part um, and plus, bear in mind that because Noelle is on this team, because of her LR passive, then she is... Let me just go ahead and double check this. But Noelle on her LR passive, at the start of the battle, inflict a 40% reduced damage dealt debuff on attacking class enemies for one turn. So automatically, Noelle, Julius, or you know whoever, or actually in this case, it's just those two units, they have a 40% reduced damage dealt. So they can't hit as hard. Um which is huge so we're actually just gonna go ahead and give a magic attack increase here that charlotte is gonna apply full ultimate <sighs> damage reduction is gonna be kind of cringe here and then so now guess what we get to go ahead and remove three special points off of julius right perfect and then julius comes in and guess what we get to uh you know i'm gonna go ahead and do this here which is okay thank god we killed and then i get to go again use the skill two Julius is going to rest here, which um, I don't think he has his ultimate. He does not, as you can see. Perfect. Yeah, this actually, this team is not too bad, actually. If you want to run this for global, this would be pretty meta just because of the units out. Um, and plus, Mono Green is not in yet. So, again, fantastic team if you do want to take this, which I highly recommend global players go ahead and do. 
so what we can do here is actually apply the counterattack. So hopefully we are able to get some counterattacks off. I'm not expecting to go crazy with it, but it would be nice to uh, see it. Oh, we're not. Man, that sucks. Okay, so now what we can do here is the skill 2, which is going to apply a level 3 magic attack reduction. A guaranteed taunt, remove a special point on the entire enemy team. And then the last one is, I believe, a heal block. Uh... I could be wrong, let me double check the skill page. I always forget what these skill pages do, just because there's like a, a million of them. Uh, block HP recovery, okay, so nothing crazy on that aspect, but everything else regarding her kit is uh, kind of broken. So I'm going to apply this, and then guarantee taunt, etc. Remove a special points, skill 2, and then we do counter, which is huge. Look at that, <laughs> y'all saw that? Julius ended up like attacking even though he was gone, so that was pretty funny. Uh, do we get taunts? Unfortunately, we do not. We'll go ahead and do this here. Charlotte's gonna attack. We counter, actually, we do not. Okay, never mind, I lied. But I mean, overall, again, being that debuff role, she is fantastic. So if, you, like, if you're someone who does not have Lotus, which I highly doubt y'all don't have, unless you just started, this unit would be a great substitute. I'm just saying, man, she is so, so good to have. So if you want to bring her onto your team for a mono blue like this, it would not be a bad idea, and she would fit in perfectly. So, yeah, great unit. Um, now, let's see if we can get rid of Black Asta. Because <laughs> if we don't, we are in trouble. Okay, so you are in anti-magic state. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, Houston, we might have a problem here. Please don't use your skill too. If you use the skill too, I lost. <sighs> Oh, Noel for the clutch? Uh, minus one special point. Okay, never mind. We won. GG's. That was kind of close. I'm not even going to lie here. That was very, very close. If he had used the skill 2, I completely would have lost here. But you know what? It's fine. We got the W. Noel played her part as an amazing deep off roll. Again, guaranteed taunt, magic attack reduction. And then having that LR passive, just allowing Noel and Julius to have a 40% reduced damage dealt at the beginning of the wave. I mean... That's broken, that's broken. So let's do a few more matches here and we can kind of see. So let me find someone else. Now, I'm not going to lie, against a Black Asta team, the, the team that I'm running right now, the full blue counter team with Noel, this is actually insanely good because guess what? You kind of get to shut down Witch Queen. And if that's the case, guess what? Witch Queen is not able to proc on for ultimate, which means you don't get O code immediately. Um, and the cool thing is that we do have speed advantage on these guys, which is huge. They are not running a Finral for some reason. So... Unless it's not Black Asta, which would be very, very weird, but I highly doubt it. Okay, cool. It is. So, again, we have the debuffs from Charlotte and Noel, which is huge. So, they have all that stuff on them. Uh, we're going to go ahead, because look at, look at the turn rotation here. We don't need to apply the counterattack. So, instead, we'll actually go ahead and do the attack increase here for Julius. And then, we're going to go ahead, and Noelle cannot proc off her skill too. So we don't, we don't have to worry about barrier right here. We only have to worry about, guess what, Witch Queen's ultimate. So we go ahead and do this. We take off three special points, and she cannot ult anymore. Look at that. Look at that. And then now, if I want to, I can just go in, get rid of Noelle. Right, 360,000 light work. I come in, use his skill too. And then, yeah, GG's. <laughs> GG's man, if you again, this would be a great counter to Black Austin if you want to run this, so it's not too bad. Uh, which I probably might. This is looking pretty good on paper, no cap. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do this, and then Noel comes in. Do we do we clean with Noel? Yeah, please tell me yes. Ooh, one HP. You know what? It's okay. I'll take it. Okay, all right. We all oh, immortality, and then yeah, GG's. <laughs> cool. All right, that actually worked out. For a second there, I did not think it would work, but you know what? Luck favors the uh, the bold. So we actually took it and we won. So let's see if we want. This would be a crazy team if we went here. Again, they most likely are probably running Finral. So this could be bad. I'm not going to lie. If it's Finral, I think I lost here. The only thing is that there is not a great blue speed unit unless you have William maxed out, which... Oh, actually, we won. Wow. Uh, if you want to go ahead and replace Maxed Out William for one of these units on Global, which you absolutely could because I, I feel like a lot of y'all got William Maxed Out because it has Stamina, that would be a great option as well, giving you that speed advantage because keep in mind, Maxed Out William is, a, is the fastest unit in the game. So you're outspeeding the Finral that would be typically ran on a Black Austin team like this. So yeah, that would be actually huge and insane. But unfortunately, I do not think I have my William Maxed Out on KR, unfortunately. So... 
Uh, again, take a look at the turn rotation. We don't need to apply counter attack. So we'll go ahead and do magic attack increase here. And then Noel is going to proc off her ultimate. We're going to completely shut down Witch Queen. So no ultimate for you. And then uh, we'll just go ahead and get rid of her right then and there. Because Noel cannot proc off skill 2. Magna is going to do its ultimate unless I kill. Which I do. Huge. And then Black Austin does have his... Uh, oh, this could be bad. You're ulting. Never mind. I win. Cool. GG's. Thank you. If he gets a skill too, then I probably would have lost. I'm not even kidding you. Uh, okay, so we're going to go ahead and now do this. Uh, I need to kill. Please. If we don't, we are in trouble. But I think we have the skill too, right? Uh, okay. How fun. How fun. Uh, do we... Oh, man. I hope we can kill. One tap, please. We might have lost. Uh, unless this would be an insane ass comeback. <laughs> no, cat. Do we stun? Oh, we had to stun. Uh, just don't kill me. Never. Uh, it was. It was. It was close. Okay. It was close. It was close. We almost had it, but overall, this unit is insane. Okay, against Black Ops, it's just you know that unit is damn near crazy. But this unit is amazing okay do not downplay her whatsoever she is fantastic amazing debuff units and keep in mind i do have the skill page and i do recommend if you are able to on global get copies of her skill page then i do think it would be really really big help because again every single time the unit is hit then she does have a chance to remove one special point from the entire enemy team and in combined with the you know skill two of having that guaranteed taunt then it's like that unit is forced to attack in a well so it's like you it's a free removal special point at that point is it not so i highly recommend you get it um this is one of the most top tier skill pages in the entire game mine is not maxed out but i'm waiting for uh to get more rare skill pages so i can get another copy for free but yeah global this is not a skill page you want to pass up okay so yeah that is my showcase for halloween party season four noel kind of a tongue twister but let me know your thoughts on these units and uh i'll go ahead and get the builds out for charmy and this noel either today or tomorrow it'll probably be like charming today and then the wall tomorrow so stay tuned i'll end it there y'all take care everyone let me know your thoughts peace